I didn't expect them to start pouring in from the outside. Looks like the uh, catapults are pushing in and starting to get better positions to attack from. What if they added dragons? Looking more scattered, look at that. The archers know that they're getting closer, so they have to fall back. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Deadly Spark, and welcome back to another Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator video. Now today, I don't know what we're doing. Uh, it's another sort of last minute recording, so I'm sitting here trying to think of um, what to do. But I think we'll be going on a different map. What's that Egyptian city that we haven't been to yet? Whole lot of nothing. Hmm. What about. Is there anywhere in Dead Marshland we haven't been? I think we've been down there. Definitely been up there. We could do something here. Yeah, we'll do something here. I think it's let's at least make them huge so we can see them. Okay. I think we'll have like a defending force and an attacking force and then just see what happens. Uh, we have the Ancient Greece defending this time because we don't normally make the Ancient Greece defend. So we'll get uh, 10,000 in here, except it won't be exactly 10,000 because we'll lose a bunch to... Um, we'll lose a bunch, and I'm not going to have them on guard either, I'm going to have them on hold because I think that will probably be a bit quicker. Um, there's not going to be exactly 10,000 because there's going to be uh, some missing, so we'll add about 2,000. Uh, here, and we'll have some Persians behind them. Well, 1,000 Persians, because why not? Uh, we'll change their rank to one, and then we'll add some archers like we always do. We have, we'll have 500 of them. And I think we'll add some catapults too. <laughs> At least two there and two there. And I think that's our defending force. Uh, so now what will our attacking force be? Good question. I haven't considered what our attacking force would be, <laughs> but I think, what should we do? Romans. Yeah, we'll, we'll just make a bunch of Romans attack. Why not? 10,000. Boy. Wrong one. So we'll have 10,000 Romans to match the 10,000 and 2,000 to match the 2,000. Uh, and then we'll have the same amount of archers and we'll have the same amount of catapults. So we'll have the catapults flanking each side. And the archers will have... Uh, what the fuck? We'll have 500 of. By the way, I just realized I should change this to 1,000. Because the reason I have the 10,000 and 2,000 because the 10,000 is going to get chunked. Um, 
I think I'll actually split them into two groups of the archers, since I can. And we can have them flanking each side as well. And... I probably should have changed these to attack first, but, you know, here we are. At least I've remembered. So we've got to change all that, and we've got to change their teams. And then we'll be ready to commence. Hopefully, we've got an interesting battle on our hands. Okay. Let's see what our balance is like. Well, I think they lost a lot more than the 2,000 I gave them since... Wait, why is there a Team 3? Where's Team 3? Okay, I don't know where Team 3 is, but we're going to have to figure out who the fuck Team 3 is. Who the fuck's Team 3 and why the fuck are they here? <laughs> why are you... Okay. Here we go. <laughs> okay, that should be better. Okay, he's better. And look at that. I so I somehow did manage to get them near identical. How about that? So, this is our defending force. The amount of catapults, the amount of archers, and the amount of uh, Spartan types should be the same. I think Spartans are stronger, so I think the advantage is the defenders. But, I mean, we'll see, I guess. So... Uh, let's put it in cinematic mode and start and we'll follow the Romans in. It's actually a pretty cool landscape here. I haven't, definitely haven't done a battle here. All the archers have begun and solved the catapults. I feel like that's the problem though of having these guys on hold is the archers and catapults. So they're, they're going to lose quicker, but if it, if it starts becoming a problem, I'll change it. But I mean, if the Spartan, the Spartans are stronger than the Romans, but I don't know what the difference will be in terms of, uh, like the, like what the balance will be like. Like, uh, with, all, with the archers and stuff firing. Because we've got our own archers and stuff back here. Um, but they're also on hold, so... They can't push in and, and eventually push through. See, like, you can see already all the holes in the... In the defences already. But now there's a whole slew of arrows coming towards the Romans... It's gone both ways. It's harder, obviously, to hit the shots through here, though. So that's the one advantage the defenders have. Look at that. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't expect them to start pouring in from the outside. Not bad. This actually looks pretty cool, funneling through this hole. But now they're going to be funneling through the sides as well. But, I don't know. The Romans are actually pushing quite nicely, but this is the... Effectively the weakest part of, uh... The defences. I'm thinking about putting the guys back here on guard, but then it will be like one of those long battles where they hold up for ages. So we'll, we'll see what happens. So it seems like the, uh... The opposition archers aren't get, getting in as much as they were before. Maybe they've just sort of split. It's still, their catapults are still getting hits in. But this side will lose its, uh, its artillery defences a lot quicker than the attacking force. I think that's sort of the balance. Like, the, I, I always feel like the defending force has, like, more, uh, like, a bigger advantage. 
so I tend to give the attacking force just a little bit extra, but I think in terms of like actual balance, I think the Spartans are stronger than the Romans, so the defenders have got the edge there. Plus their, defi their position is more defensible, like their archers and catapults can definitely hit a lot more than the attacking ones can. Though when the attacking ones hit, they, they do so without threat of being hit themselves. Um, whereas eventually these guys will be pushed into without their, those ones being touched. So it's slowly going to go more and more in favour of the attacking force. But, yeah, this... I don't know how this section's going to go. Because there's buildings blocking line of sight for things. So, eventually, it could turn out that... <laughs> that there's still massive advantage up for the attackers. Uh, for the defenders, even when they push all the way in. Because of all the line of sight uh, blocks. I mean, look at, look at how like weak the forces here are. Yeah, I think what I'll do is... Going to RTS. Uh, probably should do it from a better angle. I probably should put these on attack. It's not all of them. It's the wrong team. And I should probably put them on attack. Because uh, I feel like the Persians would... Would move into flank in, in a position like this. I feel like that makes sense. I don't think the Spartans would. I don't think the, uh, the Archers definitely wouldn't. But I feel like it's a bit more dynamic if... If it kind of pushes like that. Especially since, realistically, like, they would have covered off their catapults, even though I didn't do it in time for that side. Realistically, they would have gone, yeah, we're going to potentially lose our catapults, let's cover them off. And I'm pretty sure the Persians are weaker than the Romans, so it won't last that long. But, like, this, is a, this flank's about to fall, like you'd expect probably the Persians to push in. <coughs> <Cup. coughs> Sorry. <coughs> But then to cover their catapults so that catapults can get that little bit extra damage. I mean, if it, I suppose if it were to go true realism, like the catapults would immediately start falling back. And so would the archers. The archers would fall back to behind the next ranks uh, so that they could keep firing without the threat of being hit themselves. Because now that they're through here, the archers are completely vulnerable. Um, and they can't, they, they, realistically, they'd push back behind, behind their friendly lines again. I mean, I, I could set them to, like, standard attack so that they could move back like they usually do, but, I don't know, I think I kind of want to see how this plays out. Why are these guys still just standing here? Keep pushing. The Romans are pushed in quite effectively, and I think there's there's less of Team Two left, so the Romans are actually doing impressively strong. I think their their artillery support is more effective, but we'll see if that changes as they push into this section, if they can, because there was significantly less Spartans here, which I believe are stronger, and they I think they did pretty decent. For who was there. Uh, the Persians weren't as strong, so they fell quickly. The archers, on their own, uh, not great. Um, but this many Spartans could be the difference. But we'll see, I suppose. If you are... Uh, a few hits have already come through from catapults, but again, like, line of sight is extremely limited. They could blast an entire line back here and not touch, not touch any enemies for days. If the Romans were, were smart, they, they are smart, how about that? Pushing around here. Are they doing it on the other side too? They are. <laughs> 
I was just about to say, if the Romans were smart, they'd push through the sides, and they've done exactly that. I'm, I'm impressed. I didn't expect the, uh, the AI to do that. I would have expected them to keep going the way they were going. I wish it was, uh, possible. Oh, that is extremely defensible. If, if they would actually shoot down past this instead of shooting into the walls... This would be very interesting to make a stronger force attack, a weaker force, but have these defenses extremely lined. Either way, I suppose let's get back to the battle at hand. See, the, this whole column's nearly gone, but that's really all they can attack. I reckon it would be cool if you could close the gates of a castle, but that the get, but make it possible so that the gates can be broken down. I reckon that'd be pretty cool. It would be more interesting and potentially like realistic format if you could do simulate a proper castle defense where you can close the gates, but the the gates can be knocked down like they have their own health bar and can as like a like an entity that can be attacked, so that the attacking armies will actually attack and knock it down. <coughs> And potentially have sections of the wall that are like that too, like weakened sections of the wall where the enemy will will try and batter it down, or maybe like you could have siege units that could attack those sections that would prioritize damaged wall sections. So then, like siege units actually feel like siege units, and they come up and they take the wall down, and the army charges through. When the, when the battle develops, like they might be going through the gate at first and then when a bigger opening opens up, they they would change their direction and go through there because it's a more ideal attack path. It would make battles in castle, like, because then they, you could make the defending side smaller, but so you make the attacking side have to really go through a siege where they have to take down the doors and they have to... They have to break down walls, and there's other, like, there's other things in the castle that potentially do damage as a castle would, like, murder holes or actual functional machiculations so that the archers can fire down uh, instead of firing into the wall. Because if, if I mean, if there are functional machiculations, that would work extremely effectively I I believe anyway at uh <coughs> at making it like more more defendable like the archers would be exceptionally more effective in their in their nests and, and stuff but also the ability to split um groups into like squads and, and regiments and stuff like that because having to like make three slots of, of of units for just one when you could just split it into multiple is frustrating because it, the original game used to have it so that you could split one group into multiple groups and I reckon this should have it as well I think they should prioritize that because I will I don't want to be you're then not stuck feeling like you have only 18 slots and you like you could have like 10 footmen but make a big group of 10 footmen and split it into 10 groups and then then you don't have to use 10 separate spaces for footmen and then you can make more strategic attacks like you could have an attack like this but have the have a force going at each gate instead of uh instead of only from one direction because you ran out of space for the force that you're going for. But I guess it, it depends, really. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, this game still has a, has a long way to go, in my opinion. And, it, and it's already fantastic, so I feel like that says a lot about what the game is, how good the game is now, but, you know, still how much there is to go. 
Looks like the uh, catapults are pushing in and starting to get better positions to attack from. Uh, but there, there's so many things they could do. Like, if, if they made it so that there was maps that had potential destructible environment, I reckon that would be awesome. And that specifically siege units were the only things that could do damage to stuff like that. Or like, or siege units had like an ability where they do quadruple damage to structures. So, if you're doing 50 damage, like if you got a weapon, you wouldn't attack a wall because you do like half damage than you normally would because you're, <laughs> you're trying to attack a, a wall with, with a weapon that cuts. Uh, but something that does like blunt damage like a rock or like a battering ram or something like that would do like significantly more damage and they would actually prioritize that <sighs> they've really started to carve a line through how are these sides doing oh all dead that side all dead they didn't really push far did they as oh there is an archer here. <laughs> I feel like, uh... Here we go. <laughs> That's good enough. <laughs> But yeah, as as I thought, pushing pushing into this section of the Spartans is significantly harder, and they're losing they're losing units quicker. But there's still a bunch. Are they blocked by the catapults? Okay, if they're blocked by the catapults, I'm gonna have to do some one million kills. Look at that. <coughs> I'm gonna have to do some maneuvering of the catapults just to free them up. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Yeah, now they can flow freely, and that was a uh, that was probably a significantly significant problem before. Uh, as to why why things were going like that, I and mean, it was advantageous that they weren't pushing, but because they weren't pushing, I thought it was a bit unfair. Like, the uh, catapults are attacking with impunity. What about this path? Interesting. Whoa! Um, but, but aside, aside from that, like, Obviously, they're probably working on new units, but it'd be incredible if they brought, like, cavalry in or... Or even, ma like, made the the custom unit customizations, uh... Like, made it more... Made it so you could do more, because I feel like you can do a bit, but you can't alter the block damage, and you can't alter the armor. So... Like uh, for the the 100 sub special that I did, um, they weren't, they didn't end up being balanced. Even though everything that I could alter was exactly balanced, because some have better block, some have better armor, some probably have better dodge. So you should be able to like, I reckon you should be able to alter the dodge of a unit, so that you could, like, uh, for example, like, not not everyone's. A, a certain way, and obviously a certain um, class is like class is made a certain way. Like Spartans block because they got the shield, but I think it would be cool if you could alter that sort of stuff too. So, like if you wanted to make the armor on on a a knight uh, more accurate. Um, you, or, no more accurate, like you wanted to make it stronger, you should be able to make it stronger, or be able to change block to like armor or, or whatever, like anything like that, or change it to dodge, like an option where 
uh, you can change whether they dodge, use armor, or or block, um, and and then be able to alter their percentage of how much they block, excluding a hundred percent because that's ridiculous. <coughs> um, are they blocked again. Oh, come on. Um, but yeah, it sh it should be. Uh, yeah, it should be it should be a customization option. I think you should also be able to customize the color of the unit so that uh, it's more distinct from the original counterparts. And I think when you name the unit something, it should come up saying that unit one instead of heavy knight one. If you're using a heavy knight, it would say like. I don't know, the Barbarian one, or the Fighter one, instead of the Heavy Knight one, or the Troll one. Uh, I mean, they're like, minor, minor grievances, that barely, barely affect anything. Um, but, uh, I still think they, they should be considered, uh, because eh, I don't know. I think it'd be it'd be more interesting. You could have like the red legion of even just just to change the color, so you can have two armies fighting each other and know who is who in the fight. Like having the red knights and the blue knights and the green knights. Um, I th I think that would be it would be better and like more. I think that that would just be more interesting visually as well to have different colors. Um, you know, you could have the instead of just random colored spawns, you could have the red cape spawns and the blue cape spawns, and so on. Or like Romans with with red shields and Romans with gray shields or something. And then you sort of have that that balance of colors. Like, so that things aren't getting all mixed up. Like, uh, I think the first, the first battle we ever did, where we did our first impressions, it was just Romans versus Romans versus Romans versus Romans, and you're like, the only, you know who's who because of the, the line where they're battling, but you can't tell at a glance who's who, and I feel like that's important. Um... I feel like this fight would definitely be very strongly in the Spartans' favour if they were actually moving and not holding, but I think this way is a... Is a I feel like this way is somewhat more balanced. Um, but there, there are things like that as well. Um, there, there's there's so many, so many things that could be done that would take ages to do, and it's in Alpha, so many things could still happen. Um, comment down below like what you guys would like to see from the game as well, like what units you want to see. I mean, I'd like to see more medieval units, because they're my favourite, but obviously there's plenty of other units they could add. I mean, they still have barely scratched the surface of fantasy. Uh, they've just got trolls, they could add orcs, they could add uh, goblins, they could add uh, wizards, <laughs> you know, elves, dwarves. <laughs> so, so many different types of uh, enemies and, and such that they could add, which I, I think would be really interesting. That's barely, I mean, if, if they really wanted to get interesting with, um, with, with fantasy, they could, you know, look to Dungeons and Dragons as a reference, where I think we've mentioned this in, <coughs> in videos before, but what if they added larger units, what if they added dragons, what if, you know, they added, uh, giants, like, actual giant giants, um, there, there's so many, so many interesting things, <laughs> um, like, and even different types of, different types of dragons, like, fire dragons, uh, ice dragons, poison dragons, uh, undead dragons, undead skeletons they could add you know it's, 
it's just like a well they, they could add vampires <laughs> necromancers I mean I guess that's wizards but I mean specifically they could have pyromancers uh, illusionists uh, you know uh, conjurers whole whole bunch of different types of wizard in the, the possibilities for this game are endless and obviously when this gets mod support like it's gonna go and go and go and go but I reckon it'd be cool if if some of those are part of the the base game and even adding like more siege units battering rams trebuchets uh, a other things that I can't think of off the top of my head because every time I say there's tons of things I draw a blank <laughs> um, but there are more like siege units I mean what if they had ballista for wipe that's doing huge damage to <laughs> to infantry I mean they haven't even had pikemen and they kind they've got people that use spears but not specifically pikemen uh, but there's a huge amount of things I think I'm gonna turn this battle on its head because uh, this is definitely not going in the favor of um, I mean look at this is it not going in the favor of the Spartans and it's because holding is dumb <laughs> um, so I think I'm going to take them off hold and see if this changes anything with how the battle goes. And we'll know, like, I'm, I'll, I'll say with near certainty that the Romans would have won, but now we're just seeing what happens if the Spartans actually have brains. <laughs> um, but yeah, another thing, I mean, I don't know, I, I like that, um, I mean, now the catapults will die because the ca the catapults were doing tons of damage, but they wouldn't let the catapults just reign supreme. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's big brain. Oh, there were some archers out here. <laughs> um, no, I I don't know. Um, I I want to see big things. I want to see stuff like dragons. Like, maybe, like, dinosaurs as well. Like, big things where you, like... Where you know if you put one dragon down, it's gonna wipe thousands of units. Just one dragon. Uh, and then... <laughs> then you could have, like, legions go up against a dragon and fall, but, like, eventually take down the dragon. I reckon that would be extremely fun and satisfying. And, like, the dragon should be doing, like, heaps of damage. Like, blowing fire, doing, like, hand attacks. And, and then you add, like, other types of dragons, too. So, if you were to do, a dra like, a battle that had, like, four dragons attacking, but, like, the dragons also hate each other. <laughs> so, the dragons might fight each other, too. Um, but also, uh, add more team slots. Because having only four, like... If you wanted to do, I wanted to do like a free for all sort of thing with the sub special and have like 18, and then the next battle have 18 and see who won. <coughs> but I couldn't do 18 teams, which was sad. Uh, it looks like the Romans have decided to switch targets because of a handful of Spartans. Did the Spartans get in? Yeah, they did. Um, this is definitely looking more scattered. Look at that. The archers know that they're getting closer, so they have to fall back. It's definitely a different scenario. <laughs> Team 2 has less left, but <laughs> they look more spread out. I think, um, 
My favorite thing about this game at the moment is, uh, is that the AI seems better. They actually seem like they, they flank and go around different directions instead of just the, the path of least resistance. Well, I should say the path of least resistance is probably going around, but they, instead of just piling on the shortest path, they, they go around to, to other sections. It'd be cool if they even had like other other type of races. I mean, obviously they probably can't use like Goliath or or uh, Tabaxi or stuff like that. But like they could have Cat Person and Half Giant <laughs> or, or or stuff like that. Jeez, they have range. Um, they but they could add other fantasy units like that, like Elephant People rabbit people just cause but well, maybe the rabbit people can jump <laughs> maybe they jump into battle and attack they do leaping attacks I don't know I'm just I'm I'm trying to think think of cool things because this is still got a while to go and I'm on my own not sure what, what I'm talking about I feel like I'm just rambling. Uh, so, yeah, maybe, maybe I should just time lapse this bit of the fight, and then we'll get back. <sighs> Sorry about that. And then we'll get back and talk more at the end. I got the teams wrong, didn't I? That's team one and that's team two. Which means I should have kept them on hold because they had the most the whole time. I compromised the battle, damn it! <laughs> Fuck. I'm spewing actually because that was looking like it was going to be a close and I thought I was fixing it and I made it fucking worse. Shit. <laughs> oh, I'm spewing. 
I'm spewing I, that I actually made made the battle a more likely outcome. You're both screaming at me in the comments. I've they ruined the integrity of the battle. <laughs> and it looked like they these might have actually they might have had a chance to fight back because of the catapults in the middle peppering from each side while they were standing still. And I got the sides wrong the whole time. The Romans are not going to win. <laughs> I thought they were winning handily. Well, here we are. Welcome to uh, another one of my grand mistakes that has so far happened plenty of times on this channel. This one's my least favorite mistake that I've made because this this battle was in the balance and I tipped it over. And now look. Not fun. Oh well. Hopefully you still enjoyed this anyway. Oh, I'm back. It appears I've missed the boat. I had to quickly run and do something. <laughs> it seems like I missed the fall of the Romans. Good thing I got back in time. I can at least capture the end. Shit. Sorry about that. Where are they? Where are they? the last one yep there he goes well that's the most disappointing thing and a disappointing ending considering you guys were probably waiting for the end and then I just wasn't here to fix it I it wasn't falling quick it wasn't falling quick I'm like I'm gonna quickly do something I come back oh no <laughs> um, but uh, Yes, that was like, it was an interesting battle that I screwed up at the end, but maybe next time I won't screw up. <laughs> I don't know. I, I thought it was a good battle though. Uh, comment below if you thought so too. 
if you like this video, feel free to give it a like. If you enjoy this content and want to see more, feel free to subscribe. If you want to see something that I haven't done yet, um, that you want to see, uh, feel free to comment and let me know uh, what you want to do. But uh, with that, I think we'll leave leave off this video with the new wall. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.